Okay, I did kill those people, but it was all part of the plan. It was it was premeditated. It was that was a bad choice of words there. Look, I can explain. I swear. The simple fact is, I'm better than all of you. Here, let me start at the beginning. It all started one fateful morning when I looked over during my hot mom Pilates and saw the giant dick of darkness and evil incarnate just sitting on my ocean view. And just as I was rushing to call my local HOA, the rocks talked to me, and suddenly I had magic powers. So either I'm the main character or schizophrenic, and they can't make me take my meds. Nevertheless, I knew instantly that this was my destiny to slay Dick. Speaking of which, would you say this is about average? Thankfully, I knew a guy, and even though I stabbed out his eye once, I thought he'd be willing to help me out. Sure enough, he pointed me to the nearest slaughterhouse. After sneaking in as silently as a fleeing pervert, I killed- wait, no, I killed this woman on guard. At least I hope she was on guard, because otherwise this place would be terribly insecure. I wonder if court-mandated therapy is free. I decided to try a new tactic on this guy. I call it the flailing idiot. He gave me a vicious side eye. And so I smashed his head in with a piece of pottery. Speaking of pot, I should give some backstory on what's happening. Apparently, there are these magic crystals that people, and I quote, partake in. And it's essentially this world's oil. Also, I'm American. As with the real world, sometimes it is the simplest things that give us the hardest challenges. Like Taco Bell. Oh yeah, no, I didn't cut away. I'm still drowning. I sat here for like 45 seconds and I'm going to get my watch time out of you. I asked this woman if she ever done pot and she just lunged at me with a sword. How inconsiderate. Fought Slim Shady in the park today. Feeling pretty good. Confused, but pretty good. My magic powers have been about as useful as card tricks up to this point. Great for parties, and nothing else. I mean, have you ever seen a fireball with fucking ED? That's why I got this baby. I don't know why I'm stroking it. Oh yeah, this is more like it. I think I'm gonna pass out from the blood loss though. My mom called me a pothead and a slur I can't say on YouTube, so I'll do the pothead thing. Full disclosure, my mom loves me. Please don't hurt me. Oh, it's got my hand. It's got my hand. Ah! That little fucking demon. Whoop, over the counter you go, never to see again. After hoarding all this treasure that I just left behind and is definitely mine, I began to find the real treasure this journey gave me. A friend. Oh god, not again! I left swiftly. After sauntering up very normally and not suspicious at all, I attempted to shoplift something from my eyeless friend who I stabbed. I'm beginning to worry that I'm a bad friend. Unfortunately, justice actually exists in this universe. And also, all my other stuff has gone too. So I played with some balls to feel better. It worked. But as we all know, heroes are never patient. So off I went on my next adventure. The game crashed. 15 minutes later, heroes are never patient. And off I went on my next adventure. Remember, stealth is key. Oh my god. It's like a weird flock of birds, which aren't real, by the way. The government just tells you they are, but... <laughs> it's like two birds trying to mate. Because birds are real, aren't they, kids? Maybe I should take the medicine. Snowflake liberals these days will try to tell you you need a zip line to go down a rope. Real men know the truth. The zip line might have been a good idea. Well, it's a good thing I'm the fastest person I know. In bed. I can't run for shit, though. Yes, those are the sounds of her choking on her own blood. But hey, if the FBI wants you, someone does. I was so far off with the arrow. Aim has never been my strong suit. It's why they don't let me use the rest for standing up. They really need to take better care of this place. If they don't keep up the maintenance, it'll eventually collapse and kill everyone inside. What a horrible accident that would be. I found Skelly a friend. He had some choice words to say about them, though. He's such a quirky little guy. I don't know if you've noticed, but I often aim for the eyes. It's because ever since I accessed the internet for the first time when I was 12, I've wanted to gouge my eyes out. Anyways, this is the first time I've actually had any use out of my magic, and it's pummeling this guy into the ground with an axe. You thought that was a sax anyway, no, didn't you? You fucking horrible person. Do you know how this man got here? Cause I don't, and he scared the absolute fuck sticks out of me the first time I saw him. I don't even know what that means. I'm not usually the vengeful type. I'll show you your fuck. I'm beginning to doubt if I can even show this. Oh, oh yeah, no, I gotta blur that. No, I have to, I have to blur it. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Flying wheel. Flywheel. <laughs> Alright, this is my last arrow. It should be enough. Out of curiosity, I measured both our swords to see which was bigger. Turns out, he was my biological twin. I killed Scaly's rival. And then I stole his stuff. I left as quickly as I could. This place does some 
weird shit to you psychologically. The balls give you more magic powers in exchange for some crystals. It's wild what fondling a pair can do for you. I cannot believe I just fucking said that. When I got off the boat, I had no arms, which is fine. I don't need them to jerk off. Oh god, where's my dick? Fortunately, the gods heard my prayers and restored me to my former beauty. My glossy dome shines once more. I sold my wares and finally had enough money to pay rent this month, so I bought a cool looking staff. I think I just came. My knife disappeared this time around, so I was going to need a new weapon. I opted for the rusty cleaver because I thought it fit the dark kawaii serial killer aesthetic I was going for. Let me know down in the comments if you think it was a good fit. Turns out, because of a deaf and coherent plan and not utter coincidence, I had exactly what I needed to go see Big Richard over there. I am here to lodge a formal complaint with your manager. Oh, you're big. Oh, you're really big. Oh. Yeah, that's the manager. Also, the video is kind of scuffed here. Just ignore that. You wouldn't smash me. Uh, that would be gay. Uh, run. Anyways, I fought this thing for about 30 minutes until I made the dumbest choice of my entire life. Okay, Robert. Meet Roberta! The guards found a bloody pile three days later, and then I was sentenced to death by arena.